The Free Tiger FT903 budget knife came out of nowhere, surprised all of us, didn't it? Well, I've got another one from Free Tiger. It is the, this is the 901. We're going to take a look at it really close and see is this as good as, if not better, than that 903. So we got a lot to look at. Let's do this. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jay. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. And consider clicking on that subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. All right, so now you should be looking at some specs. And these are all the measurements that I did personally take myself. But you can either pause here and read, or I'll also have them down in the uh, description below, just in case you want to follow along. For the size comparisons now, I decided to go ahead and just uh, well, switch things up just a, a little bit. I'm going to use the, uh, this is the full size and of course the uh, the mini steel wheel cut jack. Now for some spider codes, we got Laverne and then of course Shirley. Then we'll finish up with a couple of rats. We got Sanford and his son. I'm sure you all remember the uh, FT903 up here on the top. If not, I'll throw a card up in the corner. Go ahead and click on it, then you can watch this full review but this was a budget knife that I mean it freaking came out of nowhere and it's a great great knife from uh, Free Tiger this apparently came before this because this is the 901 oh and before I forget I have to thank a uh, viewer subscriber Rusty who actually gave me the heads up on this knife so now one of the first things that that I noticed and I'm sure you will is gonna be yeah the branding the billboarding look at how much smaller it is on the 901 than on the 903 here up at the top so it's almost like they, they took a couple steps backwards by enlarging it for some reason oh yeah and then if you look at the show side here the uh the logo here is just a tiny bit uh smaller i think that this uh 3.55 inch blade i really do think it's a good looking uh kind of a traditional classic drop point shape and it does oh yeah that thing tapers down to a very fine very fine tip another surprise for me was the uh so check out you see the that that tops wedge i'll try and bring it in as close as i can without having this go out of focus but yeah the tops wedge it is uh it's symmetrical both sides and you know most of the time with uh, some of these budget folders that is you know that's been a common problem and unfortunately there there is there is one area here um, that does need a little bit of work and it's the yep yeah, you see that like that edge termination point right there at the plunge grind a little bit of a smile well this one actually was just sharpened just a hair short and then I think this one is the side that gives it like a little bit of a smile yep it does i mean it's not terrible i mean it's not going to affect the function but it's there but man oh man did they they really did redeem themselves with the uh, with the action with that flipper tab it is very good i mean although i can i can fail the deployment pretty much whenever i whenever I want to, but at least, I mean, that D10 is strong enough, yeah, where I can't 
not able to uh, to shake the blade loose. So that's good. And the closing action, the closing action is, man, is it good. Do you see that? I mean, just a couple quick shakes and that baby is just dropping shut. And it was doing this right out of the box. And these G10 scales, if you take a look pretty close, oh yeah, they are very grippy. Good, just a good amount of traction. I mean, and it's not too much where it's gonna like chew up your pants pocket. And there's also like two areas of jimping. We got, yeah, a little bit on that flipper tab. And then again, on the blade spine. And it is very effective. That's really good jimping. I do like how, well, how hand filling, like that this handle that it is, but it's, it's definitely a little bit thicker, I think, than it needs to be. Yeah, and keep in mind, you know, I have medium sized hands, so. And it, part of that is gonna be because of the liners. So if you take a look, yeah, they really did go, uh, they went beefy with these liners. Oh, and you know what, as long as we're talking about that, let me show you, I'm gonna go ahead and try and show you the lock up here. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're looking at about, I don't know, what do you think? 15, 20%? And then that, that centering. Man, that's dead on, well done. I'm not really too big of a fan of this, of this pocket clip. I mean, you're looking at, yeah. Unfortunately, that's gonna be a, that's a pretty, pretty shallow carry. And you can see compared to the 903, I mean, this is a little bit better, but one area where they were at least consistent with the 903 was the one position pocket clip. So yeah, no, no lefty love, just the uh, tip up for righties. Before we check the weight, I just wanna go ahead and show you the inside there and you can see hopefully. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they did go ahead and uh, they skeletonized these the liners quite a bit but you know it's still we're still looking at about 4.3 ounces no it's not terrible but i hate to think what it would be if uh, they did not mill those out so that's going to be about the equivalent one two three four five about yeah five AA batteries oh look at that same weight as the uh steel wheel cut jack. So why don't we go ahead and uh, let, let's see how well that this, uh, it's a, th a three millimeter thick uh, blade stock. Let's see how, see how she cuts. Man, this is really, this is like my favorite part of the video. Oh, nice. Holy cow, very good. I'll let that speak for itself. Now I understand, I understand why on the, uh, on the product page for this on Amazon, you know, all of the pictures, okay, so they show just about every possible angle of this knife, except for like this, or there's no shot of it like this. And that makes sense now because of how thick that this handle really is i mean you'd be able to probably tell that right away so i mean for like 22 dollars, you're getting you know you're getting d2 steel you're getting g10 and a ball bearing pivot man that really does provide just some excellent action but the whole time while i was you know trying to assess this knife i i kept thinking about you know since this at least numerically you know 901 if I would have tried this knife before the uh, 903, I wonder would I would I have even given this knife a chance? Just because you know, like with any like new brand, you know, be it budget or not. I mean, each knife that you try out of theirs, uh, that kind of dictates whether or not you're going to maybe even look at future knives from the same brand. And no, not that the 901, not that this is awful in any way. I mean, it is a solid 
a solid beater knife. And I don't mean that negatively, but it's just, it's nowhere near as refined as the 903. Gosh, though, it does have some incredible action. Man, oh man. So is this, is this good or better than the 903? Uh, honestly, I'm gonna say no, it's not. This is still, for me, by far, this is the champion so far. If you enjoyed this video and you got any value from it, do me a favor and just let me know by leaving one of these. And don't forget, click on that subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care, see you later.